Welcome back to another video from Sonali Guitar Studio in Sheffield. Uh, my name is Nai, and you join me in my newly improved music room. Um, deconstructed the old Sonali Guitar Studio and moved it to my house near Norfolk Park. So um, this is the place to come for guitar lessons now if you want to learn folk, jazz, funk, uh, rock, metal, um, classical at a pinch, stuff like that. Um, do give me a shout. Um, first lesson's free, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Good. This video is going to be about folk tunes. Um, I'm going to be showing you several different techniques you could use to back a jig called the Kafunken jig, which is in D major. And these can be used for any other standard Irish folk tune that doesn't do anything funny or different, which most of them don't. Um, so the tune sounds like this. <laughs> show you some different things you can do under it. So I've mentioned in the other picking chords videos that I've done, uh, watch them first if you haven't watched them already, that um, chords 1 and 5 are the most important ones. Um, we're in the key of D major, so chord 1 is D, and chord 5 is going to be A major. I'm going to just play the A part through now with the 5 chord on the 7th beat coming back to the 1 chord. So it goes one, 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 five, one, 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 five, one. And that's like your plainest chord progression that should work under pretty much every Irish or English folk tune in a major key. So let's just demonstrate that. Um, strum along if you like. It's going to be all D and A, and you'll hear where they go. <laughs> all well and good that is musically correct but it's a bit boring for the listener but also extremely boring for the guitarist um, so the next thing you can do is you can put your G major chords which is your four chord you can put them in any time where you're on a D chord you can change to a G so long as it goes 5-1 at the ends um, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna have D D D D G G A D, 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 G, G, A, just as an example. Um, if you wanted to, you could put the G in earlier or later than that. Wouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, musically, be just as correct. Um, so experiment, try putting it in different places. And I'm gonna make a, a separate video, which is just the loop, so you can practice things like that. So here we go, I'm gonna play D, G, and A under the loop. Uh, one, two, and <laughs> say you can play exactly the same chords for the B part in this tune as you can for the A part. Um, so that was D, G and A um, and that was nice. Now in a session you'll probably find they'll play the tune through maybe three or four times 
Um, and by the time you've played it that many times, you'll be wanting to change the chords up a bit more to make it more interesting. And it's nice to kind of build the tune up as it progresses. Um, so the next thing I would do is consider adding related minors. So for D major, the related minor is B minor. Um, and for G major, your four chords, the related minor is E minor. So I'm going to play the same thing through under that tune now, except that now, the second time through the A part, I'm going to play um, B minor and E minor instead of D major and G major. So that will sound something like this. played um, A for slightly longer but that was fine because it still went from A back to D at the end of the section. I also um, one time for I played B minor to G, a different time for I played B minor to E minor. Doesn't matter because all those chords are in the right key. They're all chords that are available to you in the key of D major. Um, there's a link to it in the description box to a blog that I wrote which explains why certain chords are available to you in certain keys and which ones it will be. So my point is you can swap about with those chords in any order that you like. As long as the five ones are in the right place, it'll sound good. Um, the next thing I would say is um, if you're in the B part, it's nice to have some sort of build up thing. So this time, I'm just going to go alphabetically through the chord scale of D major, which is D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major. Uh, when I get to my A major, that's my five chord, I'm going to be going back to the one chord by that time. So I'm just going to go through the alphabet effectively. Um, I'm going to go D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A, D. And that's going to go under the A part and sound like this. So you can see that's another order that you can put those chords in. But as long as you've got the five ones at the end, as I keep saying, it doesn't matter what order the other chords are in, as long as they're ones from the key, the five one is the important bit. Um, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to play through the whole tune and I'm going to show you um, the chords I would actually play for that if I was just using normal um, first position chords. Um, uh, and just so you've got something to, to, to listen to, I suppose. And then I'm going to make the other video that's just a loop of the tune so you can practice putting your chords in different orders and trying out new things. Um, the absolute moral of the story is so long as the five bones is at the end of the section, the other bits can be in any order that you want. Um, right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
do now, I suggest, is um, follow the link to the other video, which is just a loop of the tune. First try chords one, four, and five. Mm -hmm. I will have written out in the intro box some different chord progressions you can fit under it. But try and make your own ones and leave them in the comments, I would, because um, that way I'll, I'll comment back and tell you if there's something wrong with them. But if not, then um, it'll be a good example for, for other people to see different possibilities for what you can do. Um, just remember the five ones have got to be in the right place and as long as you've got um, chords from the correct chord scale which for D major is D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major and A major and B minor um, then it should be fine <laughs> um, and if you make a mistake it doesn't matter because um, you'll hear it's wrong and you'll change it hopefully anyway cool so uh, thank you for watching um, have fun watching the other video. I'm going to go and make some tea and just leave it on a loop. Um, and all being well, um, you can leave me a comment and um, tell me how you're getting on with it. Uh, tell me if there's anything you didn't understand or would like to see other videos about. And please like my Facebook page, which is also linked in the box, um, if you are enjoying these videos. Uh, if you want a guitar lesson in the Sheffield area, um, drop me a message or ring me. Contacts in the box below. Uh, it'd be nice to uh, teach you. <laughs> um, and I also do lessons via Skype as well as in my studio or at your home. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.